It's another football season here in 2014. Yep, we're, uh, we've got a few less guys this year, but we've got just as good a guys, uh, the 55 that we have out now, we're real excited about. They've been working hard. Good, and uh, what's the schedule look like this year? We've got a full schedule. We've got a scrimmage on the 22nd against Pasadena Poly in another school, a three-way, and that'll be our first physical test. And then uh, we have our first home game the first week of school on September 5th. September 5th, uh, and who's that against? That'll be against St. Anthony, okay. uh, a new school that we've not played before. And then we have our Rosemont, Fraser Mountain, other non-league games. And then on week four, we start off with our league and make a run for it. Okay, and the league still is the Desert Mountain League? Desert Mountain League, and our objective this year is we're running back. We're taking the championship back this year. Ah, well, that'll be good. That'll be good. And how about returners? Do we have some... We have some solid returners. Uh, we have Noah, Roger. We've got some really good solid leaders on the team. Uh -huh. uh, they're not. We don't have a lot of them, but the ones we have, we're real proud of. We got some great upcoming junior class. They're taking on, and we've got an excellent uh, crop of new recruits, freshmen, about 12 or 14. Okay. So we're real pleased. Even though we have fewer numbers than last year by about 8 or 10, we're still glad the numbers that we have. The kids are working really hard. We're really pleased with them. Oh, that's really good. And are uh, you going to have a JV anniversary this year or freshman? Yeah, it be or? pretty lean, but we're going to have a JV anniversary. Okay. Uh, we're both the coaches. We're all... We're going to have our scrimmage on the 22nd, and then we'll have our kind of like our in-house player draft where we'll put them in the places we think they need to be to get the best progress and growth. And uh, JV has a, their scrimmaging on the 22nd as well, so it's I going see. to be a good test for both levels. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, that sounds really good. And uh, how's the field? The field is doing great. Ernesto, our uh, maintenance guy, is just doing an outstanding job. He's been taking care of it. The district came out. We appreciate it. They put some hydro seating out there to get oh. it. We stay off of it. Uh, it's working out really, really well. And I always want to take a moment to thank the community because we had an outstanding golf tournament uh, with raising funds and the district helping us out. We got new shoulder pads for almost every player. We haven't had pads in like 12 years. Oh, wow. These are fitted to their size, so okay. now we're really feeling well. And this is another safety factor that uh, I know the district and uh, Principal DeVoe's on board with. But we need to protect our kids, and so this year we've got complete new uh, shoulder pads for everybody, so we're real good pleased with that. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll look nice. Same jerseys, though, right? Same jerseys. Uh, we bought those a year ago. Those were a big expenditure. We did a lot of fundraising for that. This uh -huh. year, the so shoulder pads, and we're buying, some, we're buying some fun equipment for the boys because they're working hard. They come out in the summertime, take up their summertime, so we're spending some money on them to help them feel good about what they do. Good, and what about the uh, coaching staff, the assistants? Uh, we have, uh, this year we have one additional coach who's going to volunteer for us. We have Coach Tedariga. He's from Canyon High School. He's a line coach. Uh -huh. He's bringing up some great technical details for the line. They're really grabbing onto his coaching techniques, so he's yeah. going to help our line offense and defense. Okay. And then Coach Dave Van Ornum, he's going to be our uh, kind of like our overall everybody. He's going to be bouncing around between defense and offense. But yeah. Uh, the one thing that's really outstanding about Dave was is he's a member of the uh, the uh, Rusty Studs here in Acton. Oh, yeah. And they came in and completely remodeled our weight room for us. Just oh. did an absolute superb job. Uh, we can't say enough about it. They came in, ripped the floor up, reinforced it, painted it. Uh, <laughs> as small as it is, it, it'll rival any of the weight rooms of the bigger schools. Oh, that's really good. So the, the boys feel good about it. They're working hard, and, and that's what we have here is the volunteerism of our community is just making it exceptional for us. Uh -huh. Give us an opportunity to really have some exciting Monday, Friday night football. Oh, that sounds really, really good. Um, 
What do you think about uh, Roseman this year? Now, I was interviewing them yesterday, yeah. and uh, do you know anything about them? Uh, well, we had a go. They're they're on the same skill level we are at. They're not a league. They're out of our league, so it's going to be a non-league contest. But right. they had a new coach a couple of years ago, and so they're growing in their program. So we know that this is going to be a returner for him. So they're going to be a little bit uh, more consistent in their performance. So we've got to be on our game. Yeah, and we'll be ready for him. He'll be ready for him. And who's the uh, in your opinion, the team in the league, the Desert Mountain League, that needs to be uh, overcome this year? Is there any this particular year we've one? Got, well, this year it's kind of shifting around. We're cha we're going to be a challenger to be sure. Yeah. Uh, but we think our opponents are our strong opponents are always going to be Boron. They have very few numbers, but they always put together a challenging game. Right. But this year, Silver Valley's coming on strong, and oh. then we have a one-year temporary member, and that's Excelsior Prep from Victor Valley. Uh huh. Uh, we got to kind of watch them because they have this. They're one of the private schools that kind of, oh. you know, picks and plucks who they want. So we got to keep an eye on them. But uh -huh. Desert, um, Desert, Silver Valley, and Excelsior are probably mm -hmm. going to be our th three biggest games. Uh -huh. So the fans have exciting games to look forward to, and it looks like you got a gleam in your eye. Oh, I'm ready because the boys are ready. They're working hard, and uh, we've incorporated the new safety rules for concussion. All the coaches, we've had our coaches meeting, so we're oh, restricting yeah. that. We're making sure their techniques are correct. And this is another good thing. We have good safety equipment this year on all levels. So uh, it's going to be five home games. There are actually, yeah, five home games, and it's going to be an exciting season. We hope everybody comes out on Friday in uh, 4 o'clock JV and 7 o'clock varsity. Sure, okay. And are you taking sponsors again? Sponker, uh, sponsor? Yes, we do. We have banner sponsors. Banners. We're going to be con uh -huh. we're going to be contacting all of our past sponsors. And anyone new that wants to do it, uh, they can just give me a call here at the school. We'd love to have them come out and put their banner up for our home fans to see because our community supports what help keeps our athletic program going. Sure, sure, sure. Well, best of luck for the season. We're going to keep checking in on you as, as we go along and see if your smile gets bigger and bigger. Well, I think it will. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, what position are you playing? Um, Sam linebacker and center. Uh-huh. And uh, is this your first year on the team or you've been on the team uh, before? This is my fourth year. Fourth year. Yes, so you're going to be a senior? Yes, sir. All right. And what do you think about the season? Uh, I think we're going to go really far. I think we can win league and go deep into the playoffs. Uh-huh. That's good. And uh, did you play youth football here? Uh, yeah, I played a few for a few years for Colts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What do you think of the coaching staff here? They're really good. The new coaches are teaching us a lot. We're learning a lot of stuff that we haven't done in previous years. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. And what, what's the plan after high school? Uh, I'm going to attend a four-year university, get my bachelor's in biology. Oh, that sounds lofty. That's good. We need that. Well, best of luck for the season, and we'll be checking up with you. All right, thank you. Uh-huh. What position are you playing? Running back and defensive end. Running back and defensive end. Well, that sounds pretty good. And... Uh, did you play last year? Yes, sir. I played uh, since freshman year. So since freshman year? Third year, yeah. Okay. Did you play local? No, I played uh, Pop Warner out in Santa Cruz, the Outlaws. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, pretty much kind of the same stuff. Yeah, same thing. Uh huh. League. Uh huh. Yeah. And what was the uh, toughest team last year? Excelsior. Last uh -huh. game of the season. We, uh, my team, we were going strong. We only beat them by. It was six to fourteen. Uh -huh. It was the hardest game of the season uh -huh. by far. Uh huh. They were good. At yeah. Good tacklers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hard team. I'm uh -huh. excited to play them again. So we'll see. Uh huh. And you think that'll probably be the toughest team this year? Most. Yeah. From last year, from what, it should be. Uh huh. We yeah. all move up. It's going to be the same, same, same heat from the same teams now. <laughs> it's all yeah. going to be hard. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, thanks very much. I hope no you have a good season and. Uh, Best of luck. Roger, what position are you playing? Uh, running back and outside linebacker. Okay. And uh, what was, uh, for you, the toughest uh, game last year? Definitely Excelsior. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. So that's high point of the season, something to look forward to. Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And did you play youth football here? No, I didn't. Came, did you play youth football anywhere? No. No. Just straight so, and, and how, how many years have you played? All four years I've had here. All, all four? Yeah. Okay. And uh, do, uh, do you think that the team has any new um, 
characteristic this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. and the whole new coaching staff, everything's a lot stronger this year. It's a lot better year. Uh-huh, a lot Definitely. better year. You think you enjoy it a little more this year? Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Uh-huh, and I heard you got new uh, shoulder pads. Yep, yep. They fit now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything's good. All new. Uh-huh, well, that make you feel better, that's for yeah. sure. If they're too small or too big, they don't feel good. Yeah. But good. Well, best of luck for the season. I hope you have a starring season, and uh, hope you guys win it. All right, thank you, sir. You bet. Brian, you've played uh, several years here, yes, right? Yes, uh, this will be my fourth year, third year on varsity. Uh-huh. Should be good. Uh-huh, and your position? Quarterback. Yeah, and... Uh, what do you think uh, about the season? How does it shape up for you? I think it's going to be a great season. Our coaching is uh, better than ever. We have a brand new weight room. It's uh, we've been working hard in the off season, uh -huh. and uh, everyone's putting in work, and it's going to be great. Good, 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 good. And uh, for you, I guess Excelsior also was the toughest game. Excelsior and uh, probably Boron because uh, broke a my hand in that game. Oh, not good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Boron's always tough. I don't yeah, know what Boron's they do to those kids tough, out yeah. there, but they they only have enough to make the, you know, uh, a one team, but they all play hard as heck. Yeah, they play hard. Uh huh. And uh, what do you see as a particular challenge this year uh, uh, for this team? Um, a challenge? Yeah. What do you have to work on the most, you think? Offense, defense? Our, I think it's going to be our uh, interior D tackles. Uh huh. The getting penetration. That's what we need to work on the most. We haven't had that in the past. We've always had a strong uh, D ends and linebackers, but uh, it's going to be our, I think, our interior D tackles and our defensive backs. Okay, and you, and your broken hand and arm this year is all back. It's all healthy. Uh huh. Stronger than ever. Yes, sir. Well, that's we got something to look forward to then. Yes, sir. So I hope you have a great season, and uh, we'll be out there for the five home games. And thank you. And uh, hope that you go all the way. I do too. Uh -huh. Thanks so much. Thank Alexi, you. you're uh, team manager for the Vus uh, Mustangs, right? That's right. And how come you wanted to be a manager? Because we have the best football team in the league. Oh, nice, nice. And so what is your job? What's your job going to be? I give the boys water. I set up any kind of obstacles the coaches want me to do. I fill the water cart. I tape um, players' ankles, tape anything that's injured. Uh -huh. I take roll, uh, a couple more things, but not, that's off the top of my head. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh. And, and have you been a manager before? No. First year? Yep. Okay, and what year are you in, in high school? I'm a junior. Junior, okay. And you're going to travel with the team yep. to, to all the away games and stuff? That's right. And uh, that's kind of hard work, isn't it? I mean, it's... Definitely. Uh, There's a lot of lugging and pulling, lifting. <laughs> And uh, you you uh, go to all the practices too, right? That's right. So it's like uh, being at um, player on the team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are. That's right. And uh, how many managers do you guys have uh, this year? We have three at the moment. Three at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so far, so good. How how many? How long have you been going this year? Um. When did you start? The beginning of summer. Oh, okay. You started kind of there. Well, best of luck and. Uh, uh, on behalf of the community, thanks very much for, for doing the work. Of course, thank you. Uh, uh, this your first year as a manager for the, for the Mustangs? Yes, it is. Okay, and do you like it so far? Yeah, I have fun. It's, I get to meet new people, and I find it encouraging to be out there. Uh-huh. So. And uh, it's a lot of work, though. What? Yeah. I have to grab the water coat, which is really heavy, and then I have to grab all the equipment and get all set up for them. Uh-huh, so, uh-huh. Yeah. And you travel to all the home games and stuff. Yes. Uh-huh. Which will be fun. <laughs> uh-huh. Now, what were you telling me about doing this for credit and... and... Um, I actually get school credit for this. Uh-huh. And it pretty much makes it real, instead of doing a class, I could do this and get uh, I see. I see. Is it considered a sports, uh, an athletic class, or? I am not sure about that. Uh -huh. All I know is I get five credits for doing it. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, pretty neat. And what year in high school are you? I'm a senior. Senior. So what? What happens uh, in May? A short time away. Are you gonna? Uh, hopefully graduate and then get my life started and everything. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, best of luck for the season this year, and Thank uh, and thanks for the interview. And I hope the Mustangs have a great season. Thank you. Uh huh. They will. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>